for most of human existence, the meaning of life was very, very simple. Survival. The only thing that humans cared about was just surviving because it was so damn difficult for the early years of human existence on this earth. If you look at ourselves as biological agents, everything about our body is set up for one mission, and that is survival. Every reflex we have, every element of our uh, structure is just built up on the, the battle to survive. And then humans did something remarkable. They elevated themselves through the use of technology and social structure to the top of the food chain. So that they went from extreme, extremely vulnerable. If you take a, a naked human being alone and put them in the Serengeti Plains in Africa, they're in some deep shit, okay? If you look at a human being as a survival organism, just by itself, naked, they are among the most feeble at that task in the entire animal kingdom. You compare us with predatory animals. We are weak and soft and easily killed. But if you take that same human and put them in a group and you give them basic technology, steel, a spear, a knife. He goes from the bottom of the food chain to pretty much at the top. And so humanity found itself in a crisis that emerged out of its own success. For most of its history, their only interest was the battle to survive, and they, they did it. I don't know how they did it, but they did it. They got through ice ages, droughts, famines, disease, everything and they've found a way to get to the top of the food chain. And that's where it all got interesting. Because <laughs> that organism whose only interest was in survival yeah. had for the first time in their history a more or less guaranteed survival. And so the big question now is, now what? We survived. There's no more danger. The average human being finds himself in a world now where there's almost zero danger from predatory animals, where getting a meal is the easiest thing ever. Where getting to and from work is not problematic at all. Where the majority of infectious diseases, medical complaints can be resolved in a hospital fairly easily. And so they start casting their mind around, okay, what do I do now? And so the minute mankind's existence became more or less guaranteed, the problem shift from survival to meaning. And we found ourselves grappling with a whole new issue that had never occurred to our ancient forefathers, but which now becomes one of the centerpieces of our